What's up, YouTube? This is Aaron619 coming at you with a uh, another mail day here. Got four cards in over the last week and uh, figured I would go ahead and make a video. I'm here at work. Um, happy Wednesday to everyone. It's the middle of the work week, so almost over. So I figured I would just, uh, you know, get away for a sec, man, and show these cards off why I can. So uh, let me get right into it. It's four big pickups for me. And uh, I got three baseball and one football. So let me go ahead and get started. First one I'm going to show you is this is a 1983 FLIR Way Bog stamp. Um, gorgeous stamp, man. Uh, this is part of this rookie collection. Uh, I didn't have this one. Um, and not hard to find. You can find this one, but uh, you never find them by themselves because usually they'll come in this pack of like. Um, I think it's 36 different players and they have to be cut and, and people just, uh, I guess people just don't cut them. So this one was by itself and it showed up on eBay and uh, I was able to get a great deal on it. So happy to have that one. This next one is rare. This one right here is 1982. This is from the Boston Herald stamp collection. And it's part of his rookie set. And I got to tell you, this one is a rare one. You rarely seldom do you see this one pop up. I've been checking, looking for about, I would say, probably over a year uh, trying to find this particular one. And uh, I was unable to do so. So uh, it popped up finally. Um, emailed the seller and just got a good deal on it and bought it. So happy to have that one. The next pickup is a big one. This is uh, also Wade Boggs. This is part of his 83 uh, rookie collection. This is from the All-Star Game magazine program. Um, this was an insert. You had to have the program uh, to get this card back in 83. Um, and everything uh, was hand cut. You know, you had to hand cut it out of the, out of the program. So... And what makes this one so unique is, you know, anything that you're hand cutting, you know, sometimes will be, you know, off on the cut or something to be wrong with. It just won't be centered as perfectly. And I was able to find this one in a 10. And uh, I don't know what the population on this is. I haven't looked at that yet, but I, I, I would imagine that uh, it's very small. So um, great card. Um doesn't have much on the back, just his height, weight, birth date, residence, and all that. Um, but it is part of his rookie set. And, uh, you know, just so glad to uh, have it. So the next one is another big pickup for me. Um, this right here is the 1948 Topps Magic uh, photo set. Um, tough one to find, man. I mean, rarely seldom do you see uh, this come up. It in the set, they have other things than just football. There's, uh, you know, planes and dogs and things like that. But the football set to it, rarely do you see Hall of Famers come up uh, in it. So this one, I've been trying to hunt down for now over a year as well. Finally, one popped up and it was already slabbed as a two. Um, this is uh, uh, Chuck uh, Bednark's rookie card from 1948 was a special player, played both sides of the ball, played offense and defense, was a center for the Eagles and a linebacker for the Eagles. And this guy right here is best known. He had big hits during his career. One of his big hits was on Frank Gifford. Uh, he hit Frank Gifford so hard that uh, ended his, ended his uh, season and then ended the next season for him as well. So um, big-time Hall of Famer here. Uh, trying to build up the offensive line uh, Hall of Fame PC, and I needed this one to, uh, you know, complete it. It's not complete. I'm still missing two more cards to it, and um, I'll get those as well. But this is a big pickup. These cards right here can get very pricey. Um, if they come up, you know, slabbed already, graded, two, three, four. I mean, they, they just get high because uh, I guess they're so scarce, so. Happy to have this one. Um, you know, it doesn't have much to it. It's got a little quote in the back back here. It's a little tiny thing, a little tiny car, but uh, it does have a little quote, if you can see that. 
um, you know, who is the clutch, a Rock'em and Sock'em um, type selected AA for his offense and defensive plays. So, uh, he played both sides of the ball, well-deserving to be in the Hall of Fame. So happy to have this one. So and that's it, guys. That's my mail day for the week. I uh, hope everyone's having a great Wednesday and a great week so far. As always, guys, stay blessed, and I will talk to YouTubers later. Bye.